안녕하세요, everyone. This is K Movie. So, with season two of Kingdom set to be released in 2020, I thought it would be a great time to address some of the questions many viewers had regarding the attires and customs of the Joseon Dynasty. Questions like, what are these hats? What are these wooden plates? And I'll also be explaining a few other things that might help in understanding season two. So, first, the nation of guts. So, these hats are called gut. And if you were curious what these hats were, you're actually not the first. Back in 1883, the American astronomer and author Percival Lowell got to visit the Joseon Kingdom and was impressed with the sight of seeing so many gats in the country. Quoting his book, Lowell observed, No Korean can in decency appear without it. It was a sign of manhood and a badge of one's position in society. And he's right, people had to wear different hats depending on their social class, where they were, and by the occasion. Only the aristocrats, that we call the young buns, and the middle class were allowed to wear the black cylindrical gut, and even amongst the two, the aristocrats had larger and wider hats. Men were required to wear the gut even indoors, and even when they were dining, which is interesting because in many parts of the world, you're supposed to take your hat off when you enter someone's house or when you dine at a restaurant. Back in Joseon, the custom was the exact opposite. So for most of the time, you had to wear the gut whether you liked it or not. Then let's take a look at a few guts that appear in the kingdom. This gut Crown Prince Yi Chang is wearing is called Hunglip, which is the most common type of gut you'll see in the kingdom. The aristocrats will mostly wear this whenever they left the house. This hat worn by Prime Minister Choakchu is called Samu, which government officials wore when they went to work. This gut that looks like a peaky mountain is called Chongjagwan, which the noble class would wear at home. It's interesting to note that this gut is the same type that appears on Korea's 5000 won bill. Military officers wore this red gut called Churip, which were decorated with animal fur. This feather they used in the kingdom is a pheasant's feather. So to sum up, back in the Joseon dynasty, there were a gazillion types of guts that had to be worn depending on your social status, location, and the occasion. Second, identity tags. You probably remember a scene where Prince Yi Chang's personal guard presents a wooden plate with markings on it. These were identity tags and were technically today's ID licenses. And the tag markings generally indicated your name, age, class, and address. Now, in episode 3, there's a scene where the prince throws his ID tag onto the ground and the local governor immediately recognizes he's the prince. That's because it was made of jade, a very rare gem, and it was marked with the dragon, which was the symbol of the king. The governor utters the words, Sajorum, a dragon with four claws. In the Joseon dynasty, the king's symbol was a dragon with five claws. Hence, a dragon with one claw less, four claws, symbolized the prince. Lastly, in episode 3, there's also a scene where the governor orders the guards to burn the bodies, but one of the noble class elders objects that this would violate the Confucianist teaching of filial piety, which was like a religion back then. People thought that harming one's body was tantamount to dishonoring their parents. And it wasn't just burning bodies back then, it was also unimaginable to cut one's hair, which in part explains why all the gats had to be quite big, because they had to stuff their long hair inside. So I hope this video clarified some questions regarding the kingdom, and if there are any other customs or scenes in the series you want me to explain, feel free to leave a comment down below. This was Game Movie. Come on, me